Within Acumatica, you use the business event functionality for monitoring business events that occur in the system as users perform processes. Business events are particular actions, data changes, or conditions that require someone's attention. By setting up business event monitoring, you ensure that these business events will not be missed without individual users having to spend their time performing manual monitoring. Some examples of where business events can be used are where a project manager may want to be notified when certain milestones in a project have been achieved. A sales manager may want to know when a sales order is created for a particular customer that is approaching its credit limit. Or we may want to schedule a business event to automatically notify our customers that their invoice is due in the coming days. In this demonstration, I'm firstly going to create a business event based on a record change that will notify the project manager when a task has been completed on their project. So when someone changes the status of this task to be a status of completed, then I want to invoke the business event and cause an email to be sent. The first thing that I will do is find out the name of the field that I want to monitor. I can do this by using the inspect element tool. Here I can see that the data class is PM task and the data field is status. To create a business event that is based on a change in a field on a specific form, you can initiate the creation of the business event from that form. So I will now go into the project tasks view and then create a business event from my tools menu. I'll give this a name of task complete and Acumatica will now take me into the business events form. This event has a type of trigger by record change and I want a business event raised for each record that is changed. I'll give it a description of task complete and then go and add a new trigger condition. So I will say where a new field value has been entered, pick the table name of PM task and the field of status. Both of these I knew from when I used the inspect element tool earlier. And then I will say where the condition equals and in the value, I can select from the available options, and in this case, I'll choose completed. So these are the conditions that will trigger my business event. I now want to tell the system how I want my users to be notified. So I will create a new subscriber, and here you can see that I can choose from a drop down that includes email notification, as well as other methods such as SMS and Teams. I will say who I want the email to come from. Then in the to field, I can either choose a dynamic email that we pulled from the record that the event is being triggered from, or I can choose from my list of user emails. So this could be the project manager. I will put the subject as task complete. And then in the main part of the email, I can create the email body by using both my own text and also data that I can dynamically pull from the tables associated with this event. So we are saying that task, then inserting the task ID, then saying on project, and then inserting the project ID has now been completed. I'll save this business event and then go back to the project screen to test it out. So let's pick a project and then go to the tasks tab and set one of these tasks to be completed. I'll now save this record and in the background that business event will fire. To see the email that has been sent out, I can go to my all email screen and on the outgoing emails tab, I can see that an email has been created. If I open this email, you'll see how the body of the email has been constructed using those dynamic parameters that I set up in the business event. Next, I'm going to create a business event that is based on a schedule. Let's say that we want to notify our customers when they have an invoice due for payment on the following day. I'll go to our invoices and memo screen and create the business event from there. Let's give it an ID of due tomorrow. This time I will choose the type to be trigger by schedule. We want a reminder for each customer invoice record, so I'll leave the raise event for each record as it is. Then a description of due tomorrow. So the trigger conditions this time are going to be firstly that the status field of the AR invoice has a condition that it should equal the status of open. And then we'll set the operator to be and. And then a second trigger condition that specifies that the AR invoice tables due date field needs to be equal to the value of today plus one, which will pick up all invoices with a due date one day after today. Next, we will go and add in the subscriber. So again, we will use the email notification. I'll give it a description of due, say who the email is from, and then select who the email should go to. 
Again, I can use those dynamic screen fields to insert the customer's email address, or I can add in an internal email address, which I'll do for the purposes of this demo. I will set the subject to be invoice due, and then in the body of the email, I can compose the text by using the combination of hard-coded text and dynamic properties from the database tables. So I will say that invoice number, then insert the invoice number field, is due for payment tomorrow. I also want to attach a copy of the invoice to the email. So on the attached reports tab, I can firstly choose the report that I want to send. So I will choose my invoice memo printed form, which is my standard invoice layout. And then I will say that I want to use the event as the data source. So this is where I configure that it needs to send out the invoice with the reference number that is the same as the reference number that has triggered the event. Lastly, I will create a schedule for when I want this business event to run. In here, I can specify when I want the schedule to expire, how many times I want it to execute, and then I can set the frequency, be it daily, weekly, monthly, or by financial period. I'll choose daily here, and I'll set the start and end times to be within this hour. Then I will set the next execution time to be in two minutes time. I'll go back and save this business event, and now it is active and ready to be processed according to the schedule that we've just set. I'll now jump forward a few minutes in time and to see the emails that have been sent out, I can go back to my all emails screen and on the outgoing emails tab, I can see that an email has been created. If I open this email, you'll see how the body of the email has been constructed using those dynamic parameters that I set up in the business event. Lastly, I'm going to create a business event within Acumatica that will be triggered by an action that a user invokes from within a screen. I'll use the example of a credit controller sending a selection of copy invoices to their customer accounts. The screen that I want to use for this action will be the invoices and memos screen within the receivables module. So again, I'll go to the tools and then to business events. I'll give this a name of email invoice. This time I'll change the type to be trigger by action and I'll give it an action name of send copy. In the subscribers tab, I will set up a new email template with a description of invoice, say who it's from, and then again, I can dynamically choose the two email address from the fields within my system, although for demo purposes, I will choose an internal email address. In the subject line, I will type in the words invoice number, and then I will insert the AR invoice invoice number field, and then finish off with typing is attached. Again, I want to attach a copy of the invoice to the email. So on the standard reports tab, I can firstly choose the report that I want to send. So I'll pick that standard invoice layout again. And then I will say that I want to use the event as the data source and then go and tie up those reference numbers. I'll save this business event. And now when I come back to my invoices and memo screen, you will see that I have these three dots which open up the actions menu and the business event that I've just created is available to run. So to test this out, I will select a couple of invoices and then go to my actions menu and click on email invoice. It will tell me that the operation has been completed. And if I now go back to my all emails tab, you will see those copy invoices have been emailed to the customers. So that concludes our introduction into the Acumatica ERP business events functionality. For a more in-depth tailored demonstration or for more information, please contact us on the email address or the phone number that are appearing on the screen. Many thanks for watching.